In this video, you'll get an introduction to Amazon CloudWatch Synthetics. With this feature, you can create different kinds of canaries to continually verify your customer experience even when you don't have traffic, monitor and test for unusual behavior, and trace issues to their source for faster resolution. Let's start by navigating to CloudWatch Synthetics. Amazon CloudWatch Synthetics allows you to create configurable scripts called Canaries to continuously monitor your application endpoints and APIs. By using Canaries, you can discover issues with your website before your customers do. We already have two Canaries monitoring our sample pet adoption site. Let's create a third. Canaries can be created from pre-existing blueprints, from scripts which can be edited in line, or by using a workflow builder or a canary recorder. For this canary, we'll use the Heartbeat Monitoring Blueprint. Heartbeat scripts load the specified URL and store a screenshot of the page, an HTTP archive file, and logs of accessed URLs. We'll enter the URL for our sample pet adoption site. In this case, let's move on without inputting any environment variables. We'll retain the default settings for scheduling. We'll also keep the default timeout settings. If you have specific data retention policies, you can change the default settings here to maintain compliance. For our purposes, let's move on. Under Access Permissions, you can choose whether to create a new Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role that's specific to this canary or use an existing role. We'll create a new role. You can allow Synthetics to create CloudWatch alarms for your canary automatically. Let's add an alarm that will notify us via an Amazon Simple Notification Service, or Amazon SNS, topic if our canary fails two or more times in 15 minutes. If your endpoint is under a virtual private cloud, you can select it here. CloudWatch Synthetics can be integrated with AWS X-Ray and CloudWatch Service Lens service maps. Let's enable the integration and create the canary. Our Heartbeat Monitoring Canary has been successfully created. Now that we've created our canary, let's take a closer look at one that's been running for a while. On the Availability tab, we see information about the recent runs of this canary. Let's expand the scope of our Canary run to the past 12 hours. We can learn more about the Canary run using the tabs below the graph. The Steps tab lists out each step the Canary took, along with a corresponding status and destination URL. The Screenshots tab provides website snapshots taken by the Canary at each step. Screenshots show what your customers see when they view your web pages. Log files provide a record of interactions between the Canary Run and the web page. The HTTP archive file shows what was happening on the website and the response time at each step. With tracing enabled for the Canary, traces are sent for all calls that use the browser, the AWS SDK, or HTTP or HTTPS modules. Canaries with tracing enabled also appear on the service map in both CloudWatch Service Lens and in X-Ray. Returning to the top of the page, we can select the Monitoring tab to view graphs of the CloudWatch metrics published by this canary for the selected time range. The Configuration tab details current configuration information for the canary, including when it was last modified. You've just seen an introduction to Amazon CloudWatch Synthetics. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.